Good morning, Cornerstone Kids. We're still in our series of Meals of Jesus. And so far, we've heard about Jesus eating with some very unexpected people. He often chooses to eat with sinners, the people who weren't living God's way. Some of them had messy lives, like the woman with the perfume, and others were bad guys, like Levi, the cheating tax collector. But Jesus came to save sinners, so they were the people he chose to eat with. Now listen carefully, because after the song today, we're going to have a little quiz. So make sure that you've got your listening ears turned on. So in today's story, Jesus ate with another tax collector, a man called Zacchaeus. Now, just like Levi, Zacchaeus was hated and disliked by everyone because he worked for the enemy that got rich that way too. He was a traitor and the last person that anyone ever wanted to be seen with. But one day, Jesus was visiting Zacchaeus' town. When Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming, he wanted to see him just like everybody else did. But Zacchaeus was very short. So if he wanted to see Jesus, then he needed to be in front of the crowd. But the people in the crowd were not going to let Zacchaeus barge his way to the front. They all hated him, remember. So why should he get to go to the front to see Jesus? But then he had a great idea. The crowd wasn't going to stop him from seeing Jesus. He decided to climb a nearby tree so he could see over the crowd and was able to see Jesus when he arrived. But what happened next took everyone by surprise. Jesus was walking through the town and through the crowd when he stopped, right underneath the tree that Zacchaeus was sitting in. Jesus looked up and called out to Zacchaeus, come down right now, I'm going to come to your house. Just imagine that. Jesus found that Zacchaeus in that tree and he even called him by his own name, even though he'd never met him before. And then he said he wanted to come to his house. Zacchaeus was delighted, but the crowd had a very different reaction. They were not impressed. They were thinking, this is a disgrace. It's awful. Zacchaeus is a sinner. So while they were with Jesus and Jesus was staying with Zacchaeus, he changed his life. Before he had been a greedy man, but after he met with Jesus, he started to give the money back to the poor and pay back the people that he decided he cheated with. Zacchaeus was a sinner. The crowd didn't think that he deserved to hang out with Jesus. But sinners are people that Jesus came to save. And so this is what Jesus said to the crowd. The son of man, that's me, came to seek and save the lost. Zacchaeus was lost. He wasn't up a tree. He wasn't lost in the woods. He was a sinner that was lost from God. But Jesus went looking for him. He found him and saved him and changed his heart and welcomed him into God's family. Jesus is still looking for lost sinners to save. He speaks to us through his word, the Bible. So if you are still a lost sinner, he wants to find and save you. How will you respond? Well, we can do that by praying to him. So let's do that now. Dear Jesus, thank you for looking at sinners and saving them. Amen. Okay, let's listen to a song all about Zacchaeus and then afterwards we'll have that little quiz. Why do you dangle your feet? 
politics, taxes for Rome They pay for the soldiers who beat them And leave them to suffer and groan Times the money you took You're helping the poor too Zacchaeus Everyone's shocked by your plans Jesus says grinning from ear to ear Salvation has come to this man Everyone's smiling Zacchaeus It seems that you're smiling too You thought you were looking for Jesus But Jesus was looking for you. Okay, so I hope you were listening carefully to the story. Let's have a little quiz. So, question one. Was Zacharias lost in a tree? Lost in a maze? Or was he lost from God? So, a tree lost in a maze or lost from God? Shout your answer out really, really loud. Well, if you said lost from God, you were absolutely right. Well done. Zacchaeus was lost from God, which is why Jesus went to find him. Okay, next question. When Jesus said he wanted to stay at Zacchaeus' house, how did the crowd feel? Were they happy or were they angry? If you think they were happy, then put your hands on your tummy. And if you think they were angry, put your hands on your head. If you have your hands on your head, then you are absolutely right. They were angry and that Jesus wanted to stay with a sinner like Zacchaeus. Okay, last question. What happened to Zacchaeus after he spent time with Jesus? Did he run away? 
Did he change and become a good person? Or did he continue being bad and a sinner? So if you think he ran away, put your hands on your head. If you think he became a good person, put your hands on your tummy. And if you think that he became a bad person, put your hands on your knees. Well, if you have your hands on your tummy, then well done. Jesus changed Zacchaeus. He was a sinner who was lost and Jesus found him and saved him. So well done, everybody. Okay, now for your activity. So for today, you could make some binoculars. I recommend finding some old toilet rolls maybe out of your recycling box and then tape them together and then you could decorate them however you like. If you haven't got any toilet rolls, you could just roll up some um, bits of A4 paper. Then you can decorate them however you like. It might be a good idea to write down about how Jesus is looking for people to save. Well, have fun.